Hey guys, welcome. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. And yes, it's a brisk day here in Idaho. Snow's on the ground. And, um, but we'll get through this thing. We've been talking about uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse uh, 9 through 13, which is the Lord's Prayer. It goes like this. In this manner, therefore pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now we covered verse uh, 9, 10, 10, and 11. No, I'm sorry. 9 and 10. We're on verse 11. Give us this day our daily bread. The Bible talks of God as Jehovah Jireh, our provider. That's what it means. God, our provider. He is our provision. We don't have to look anyplace else. We need to just look to him because he is provision. His very essence, his, per, his being, who he is, is provision. He wants to give to his kids. And we've talked about this this week, that we are his kids. He's daddy God. So wouldn't daddy God take care of his kids? Well, of course he would. And he is Jehovah Jireh. We also studied a couple weeks ago that he is Jehovah Rohi, which means God, our shepherd. And you know that the shepherd always makes sure that the sheep are taken care of, that they're in pastures, green pastures, beside, beside still waters like we studied. And so God, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, will make sure our provision is there. So that's why Jesus can say, give us this day our daily bread. I also want you to notice that it says this day. Well, if you go to uh, continue in Matthew chapter 6 and go over to verse 25, it says this, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? You see, we don't have to worry about our provision if God really is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. It goes on to say in verse 28, So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the, earth, uh, the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, once again, it says, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things, the Gentiles seek. For your father, uh, your heavenly father, daddy God, knows that you need all these things. He knows it. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. You see, as we seek God, we don't have to worry. We can trust him as Jehovah Jireh. In uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, it says, And my God shall supply all of your needs. Well, here it says he knows our needs even before we ask, and he supplies all of our needs. That's why Jesus can say, pray this way, uh, and give us this day our daily bread. And it goes on to say, by the way, here in Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, it says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Just like it said, give us this day our daily bread. I don't have to worry about tomorrow or the next day. Just like it says here, God today, give us this day our daily bread. And because he is Jehovah Jireh, because he is Jehovah Rohi, because he is Daddy God, Abba God, Abba Father, he'll take care of those things. Don't worry about it. Trust him. Boy, what a God. Hey, I love you. Jesus loves you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.